this does is if, if I go into the diffuse channel here, or here, you know, it's the same diffuse here, diffuse. Um, if I change something in here, since the other one is an instance of this one, it will also be changed accordingly to the other one. So whether I go in here and change something, it will also be changed here. Because it's an instance, they are linked together, they are the same map. So I'm gonna keep bump to about 20 here. Uh, just not that much bumpy texture. Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe 20, 5 maybe. Yeah. Go ahead and click and drag on the object here. And you wanna go back to the parent and show standard map and viewport. As you can see, we have our texture here. We can go ahead and click render production or rendering render to take a look at how this looks. Yep, looks all right. Well, we can always go into map noise here and uh, add another map here. We can add smoke on the first one. It looks a little bit dis interesting. Just a bit better, I guess. Um, we can size it down. Really interesting, kind of like look like burnt textures. We can go back and go to the second one and add a marble. And let's see how this looks. It didn't really look well, did it? Let's go ahead and change that. I guess we'll use another noise. I'll use... Um, Grayish color, and then a reddish color, brownish maybe. Like that. Really interesting tiles here. As you can probably tell, this doesn't really look like really realistic tiles. But, uh, I mean, it's just for tutorial, so, yeah. And by the way, it's a little bit big distance between the tiles. So if you want to change that, you can go back and, and you know, recreate it and uh, don't leave just a half centimeter between these. I remember when we did the, the insets on these here. Now we have a texture or a material for our ground here or a plane. I'm going to go ahead and create a new Textures, so open up the material editor with the M key, and we're going to select the next one and name that logo mat. And um, for the specular level, probably pretty high. Let's open up and see. Probably pretty high, something about 65. I'm going to have a really glossy, nice texture here. 20 glossiness. Specular level about 70. Specular color, totally white. Probably do self emulation, it probably would look cool. I don't know. We could add a diffuse color to this, or we could add a. Let's add a diffuse channel to this and uh, apply a texture here. Maybe sp stucco. Add it to size here. Add it to colors. Something like that. It's cool. Oh, we got to add it to the logo. Go ahead and click and drag it to the logo. Looks kind of interesting. 
Now, um, on the sticker one, you could also add a material, a noise material to the first one, cubic fractal, and change the colors to about, I don't know, just gonna do some random colors here. Add a smoke to the second one. Or maybe we can do. Hmm. I guess we could do a splat. And keep the size to about. Let's see how it looks. Yep. We could probably do self illumination, see what it looks. Nah. Didn't look cool. Just experiment with the different maps and stuff. Um, maybe we could add some reflection to our plane. So go ahead and go to reflection on the tiles mat. Under maps here, go to reflection, toggle that, set it to about 70%, and uh, add a ray trace to this object. Uh, use environment settings. Go ahead and do render, see so it looks. You can see it creates a reflection of the surrounding objects. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and copy, go into the, click T on your keyboard to go into the top view, and just go ahead and copy the tiles over to the left, shift click and drag, rotate this, oops, I'm going to keep this snap toggle on, so it's easier to rotate, I'm going to copy it over here again, and rotate this times around. I'm gonna take this one, all these three, cup them over, gonna zoom in and make sure they're all lined up. And I'm gonna copy or rotate this 180 degrees around. And there we have some nice space for our scene. And we can also um, select all the tiles, set the position to 000. zero, zero. Oops, that's not good. Let's go ahead and group that to tiles, set, and go ahead and zero, zero, zero that out. So it's in the middle of the scene. Click on the text and click Z on your keyboard to, to center your focus and the perspective view to the object. Now we are pretty much ready to try and create a render here. I, I think I'm gonna change the color Oops, change the color here. Something like that. It'll probably do. Yep. Now this final thing, this final thing to do is add some lightning and a camera to our scene. Go and go to create the lights. Uh, if you have 3D Studio Max 2009, I believe, uh, or 2010, you might have this photometric. It's a bit better type of light. It's a really more advanced type of light, which gives greater results. Um, with the, the, the fact that it takes a bit longer time for each render. So if you're going to create a film, 
animation, I suggest using the normal 